We are now live. Hey, welcome to the Milk Guys Toy Box. I'm James Jerome, and this is my boy. I call him Deep C, because watch, say something. Ah, ladies, ah, yeah, see, the voice is all deep. His name is Cooper, so that's, you know, the C for Cooper, so. Deep C, ladies and gentlemen, just gonna accompany me. We actually checking out some stuff that we, um. Can you hear me fine? Good deal. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, everyone. Um, yeah, pardon me. Mike was down. Now it's back <laughs> up. <laughs> now it's back up and running. Yes. Check it out. We're messing with tonight. What we did last week, actually, or the week prior. Um, I showed you guys I took a, a Darth Sidious and I converted him to a Mumra. You know, it's just like I couldn't pass it up. He's pretty much done. You know, this guy here, there's much, nothing much to him. But we was working on this last time. Um, so, you know, um, more villains to come from the Thundercat series that I got. But uh, tonight, I wanted to focus on this new guy, <clears throat> as promised. Uh, the storyline Earth Elite that I was bringing forth, and I was introducing characters, you know, like kind of like piece of piece, uh, yeah. just over like a span of time since we've been kind of running. So what happened is uh, I finally brought this guy out here. Um, I call him Kid Shaw, A.K.A. the Gun. Check him out. This dude right here is like he's a consolidation of, uh, of course, you know me. I pick and pull. Ha! <laughs> he has a cloak here from Sabretooth. I think the last one of the last Wolverine movies and uh, his head here is actually is uh, it's a cult classic of a three and a half inch of Freddy Krueger I took the hat Freddy and I took one of the heads off of a, uh, a hobbit from one of the Lord of the Rings series <laughs> <laughs> and of course you know if this body frame right here is more or less uh, Marvel Comics uh, Cyclops to be exact uh, I got the belt here from Bishop another X-Men um, actually turned around him and then the hanky right here from Bishop as well so yeah so tonight I'm basically gonna be painting this guy you know how we do I'm gonna try to make this an expedited effort now I'm gonna pick and pull him so I can get in every crack and cranny so what we're gonna do is gonna first start by removing his leg okay and then we're gonna pretty much strip this guy down so taking off the legs oh now we're able to get the <laughs> oh, what do you know? The belt in the paint. Okay, so we don't want that right now. <clears throat> gonna disassemble the head. Take his head off. Remove his hanky. All right, cool. The arms and everything, pretty much the torso and the arms and hands and everything can pretty much stay. And um, we're just gonna go from here. Now, I do have, I don't have, I'm gonna get this with. Yes, I do. One moment, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. One moment, one moment. <laughs> Bam, we're back. Yeah, gotta have something like that. All yeah, right. Yes. So we're using two different paint brushes here. Two different paint brushes. I'm gonna actually awesome. get use the broader one to actually cover most of his body. If I can get right. that done. Um, for the most part, there's no really. I'm not doing really any changes to the face detail or not. I mean, if you look this guy in the face under his hat, you might be able to identify who he is. For the promoter, for the most part, you can't. <laughs> All right, baby. All right, check it out. What we're we gonna do this, man. Get it done here. Make sure right. I grab the napkin or something. So I'm going to go put the papers back together. I'm going to start out with his, um, basically he's going to have a white tee on. Okay. So we're just pretty much going to cover as much as his green. If you're wondering with the colors, I don't know if I've covered this, but the colors, why he's so uh, green and gold right now. Yeah. Because he was a custom made uh, vision from oh. the uh, Avengers series. Oh. From the Cyclops okay. body. So awesome. we found vision. So I'm actually going to go ahead and replace this custom. And I probably shouldn't have. But it was pretty cool too, man. You should have seen it. Just never really got a chance to show it. But yeah, we're going to cover him up right here. White tee. You got me, got me? All right. Mm -hmm. The thing about it now, I don't have any kind of, uh, like, um, <clears throat> stances and things that I can stand him up on, which I intended to bring. What was in my other box? Oh, so, okay. So uh, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> So it happens to the best. So, yes, it's all good. But we're going to improv, stand them up. And as you know, for the most part, this paint dries pretty quick. If nothing else, <laughs> we, mm. got, we got my man C over here. He can hose and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you can see here. That's cool. I'm oh, messing with you now. But yeah, good. it's all good. What do you think, man? Hey. You know me, always picking and pulling and flipping. Oh, yeah. There you go. You know what? Oh, Actually, as a matter of fact, I should get you 
This again, you, you should do this together, man. I, oh, yeah, I think this yeah. would be cool. You want to get dirty? Oh, yeah, man. Hey. Get the clean. Yeah. Up get your, game uh, now. <laughs> get your clean, get your clean sweatshirt dirty, man. Yeah. No, nah, we don't want to do that to you. Oh, good. But yeah, I was just thinking because with his legs, yeah, kind of, I was kind of like I had an idea uh-huh. for what I, you know, I wanted to do. I know I wanted to cover him here in, in this plain white tee. Mm-hmm. Like you know, he's he's a muscle bound gentleman. Uh-huh. The only thing he's missing is his tie. We're not gonna put a tie on the uh-huh. kid today. Okay. You know, this guy is a rough edge uh, warrior. I'm going to get in a little detail about who he is, right. what he does, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Earth's Elite, you know, first of all, is a band of heroes that actually are standing for a good cause um, during our futuristic time, uh, having to actually intercede, stand the gap for a lot of uh, 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 different things going on across the world. Each one of the warriors actually represents a different time zone of warriorism in a certain culture. You got a knight, pretty much of the round table, the knight. Okay. Uh, you got a guy who's kind of like ninja assassinist type. You got an Indian warrior from um, well, ancient times. Guys just okay. hat, just hatch it out. You got a got an African warrior. Oh, and uh, that, that he's you know he's from the uh, Bushite Empire. He's actually uh, mm-hmm. pretty detailed, painted up. Oh, he has okay. a saber tooth tiger as his uh, sidekick. Mm-hmm. As uh, it's pretty cool, man. You got this, uh, this other African princess. I got this this one Chinese warrior mm-hmm. comes in. And it goes on and on. I'm just, I'm actually going to be in the sense of creating. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, got someone on the show. Yeah. Um, they're pretty much done. And I can't wait because we have other things, man, that we need to get to. Oh, and uh, I'm actually just seeing how this works because it was oh, pretty yeah. thick on the green and the yellow. <clears throat> As oh, you see, yeah. I'm covering it with white. Really haven't missed a, uh, a piece yet. Mm-hmm. So as you can see, mm-hmm. what I like to do, well, let me cover the rest of his arm here. He has a body type where is you know he pretty much like his arms and his leg he has a joint yeah. it, it, it bends mm-hmm. so there's a point in time where i actually have to get under it oh, to uh be able to get it in full detail you know oh, the paint because one the thing is once this paint dries you know you technically if you don't take it and just claw it with your nails mm-hmm. or something sharp paint stay on mm-hmm. so it's a fully posable figure after a while uh-huh. See this, this no doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, this paint that was on here prior that I'm covering up now, mm-hmm. I could twist this figure in any kind of way and it wouldn't come off. Wow. So Maybe. it becomes your fully playable action figure, technically after you re- 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 recreated, recreated it. Can oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't lie, I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> but yeah, understandable. You know. Yeah. All right, cool. So basically, I'm gonna stop here because we want to just basically indicate that he has on a T-shirt. Uh, okay. And not a, what's some things, man, that uh, a... <laughs> uh, white beater. <laughs> white beater. <laughs> uh, pretty much, a, uh, what's the, no, not the white beater, the um, deal with like it's a one piece that goes over your, your pants or your, your tighties. Oh, like yeah. some kind of WWE superstar or something. Oh, yeah. They fly <laughs> off the ropes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, man. But we're pretty much done with that. And basically, you know, he's he's good. I got the undertow. I basically bent them a little bit, got up under here, got up under there. Yeah. So, you know, without moving around too much at this point, let it dry, it won't scratch. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, the arm's good. Now, one thing I'm concerned about here, mm-hmm. he's bend the joints one good time. Oh, yeah. And we just get it in there. Kind of, it's okay to pack it in because it's what it's going to do, well, well, here's the deal. If you pack it in too much, once it starts to dry and get soft, mm-hmm. it'll peel the minute you bend it back. Mm-hmm. It'll literally shave off that area. So what I do... I always get it as thin as I could, really. Mm-hmm. Kind of thick enough to be in there. Mm-hmm. The paint covering all the, the crack. Mm-hmm. And I bend it back the way I would want his posture of arm to be anyway. Uh, okay. You know, and see now right here, as you see, mm-hmm. you got to cover this part now because it, it bends the other way, causing the paint that wasn't so dry mm-hmm. yet uh, to peel off. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. So there we are. We do this. Now, I wish I had a stand now. I technically, I could you know, stand this guy up. Do this, uh, you know. mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you see what we have here is we got the torso. And uh, I'm going to let that pretty much dry because I have another coat paint. Uh, and the you know, you like almost like a um, vest, if you will. Uh, brown vest is going to go down his the center of his chest, uh, and bearing his sleeves to be remaining white. Yeah. <clears throat> but if I do oh. it with the paint wet right now, it's going to 
it's gonna be a mess. You can smear. Um, oh yeah. You know what I mean? You can yeah, smear. Yeah. It could uh, because they're both thick acrylic. It could mm. smear, and what it could do is uh, cause me not to be able to. It'll take too long to dry. Oh, there, there it go. is. All right. So he's up and he got. He's standing his own legs and jumping. In case you wonder how I did that magic right there. Let's see. Like that. See what I did. What I did right there was. <laughs> oh, absolutely. See, his torso's not wet. He's not wet. Kind of looked reminded you of the movie Trading Places or something where Eddie Murphy was crawling around his knees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, being a yeah. little, uh, little fraudulent type dude. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. But that's that. So, yeah. So now what we're going to do is take his legs. Mm. And I'm going to do something that I am pretty much forced to do. Mm -hmm. But it's cool. It's going to be fun. I'm glad I'm forced to do it. Awesome. I get to share with you because I don't have a stance. Once I'm finished painting his leg, I'm going to balance him with standing. And for the most part, if I can't do it, mm -hmm. he can always lean up against something and the paint will be just fine. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do, if you want, let's do this, bruh. Yeah. You can take the smaller brush. Actually, it's almost just as big as this one. Oh, okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to just work with this color here, this lighter brown. Yeah. We're going to cover his legs. His oh, boots okay. are gonna um his boots are gonna be dark brown. I got him kind of with the still got the flurry look around the ankles, the hero look. Oh, okay. But that's what he is. He's awesome. a hero, so he's gonna be brown boots. So we just wanna cover up the leg all the way up to the joint. You know, all, right. all the way up to the neck. Okay. Right, so. Awesome. So here we go. Um with this here. Booyah! <laughs> I should have covered his neck. Hold on. We're not done with this dude. I mean you can start with that actually, but I need yeah. to cover okay. some more white. Here you go. So what we'll do, I'm gonna put this central. Alright. You grab a brush, you not grab a brush. Awesome. We do this, got man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come yeah, on. yeah. Alright, so this um this color brown here. Yep, that All color right. brown here. Awesome, awesome. So what you wanna do, well oh hold on, whatever advice. So we'll go ahead and dip it off. Cause what you wanna do as you're when you pull the brush out of the water, yeah. you wanna dry it. You wanna give it a dab. Uh, Otherwise when you paint, it's gonna come out watery. It's gonna be oh, running on you. Oh, okay. You wanna uh, keep it at a um at a uh, controlled uh, you know, thickness uh, okay. so it doesn't run and you can know exactly what you're doing it'll run it'll, it'll, it'll trust me it gets nasty okay so. i just happened to notice when you dipped into the paint it was still water no okay. just dip it off here that's why i have these here oh okay so um okay so. yeah is it is it did you wet it yeah okay you want to dap it don't okay. don't 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 put in the paint yet dude okay. oh, <laughs> Good. Okay. clean it off again oh, mate. oh clean it off again okay, mate. okay. <laughs> all right <laughs> it's all, all right. good <laughs> okay now it's okay. wet yeah. Go ahead, wash it off more. All right. Because this, I'm, I'm going to have you do it like this because in the, in the case where you're going to switch the color and you're going to use the same brush. Yeah. You want to do it like that. Hit it real hard. Do oh. the water in the base. Is it clean? Okay. Okay, now just gotcha. give it a twist on like, this paper. Oh, on the paper. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Until it's dry. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Twist it like this as you're doing it. Because they're smaller right. brushes. See how it comes to a point? Yeah. So now you got more um, leeway to make a, any kind of detail you want on the leg. Oh, Not that okay. you really would. But that's yeah. normally when I'm doing faces and stuff. Oh. But I'm just saying you can you can actually play with it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah, you good. So yeah, so that's now, your brown. Okay. Basically, yep. Go for the brown. Go for the good stuff. And we're going to go ahead All right. and cover this up. We're going to have to actually get creative on his neck. Indicating he has a collar shirt on. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just... So good. <clears throat> okay, cool. He's so he's going to put him right back where he was. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Little gun. Yeah. Man. Gun, gun. What's up? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you supposed to be helping me out with that, bro. Oh, uh, you, yeah, you. <laughs> okay. But sure. <laughs> oh, right. For <laughs> sure. Like, get off stage, man. Yeah. Nah, play. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, we look forward to any questions and curiosities that you all have right now. <laughs> yeah, do you have any curiosities with the leg? How we operate here. <laughs> <laughs> Where we get the paintings we from. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for coming around mm, so far. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you very much. What we do here is we paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you know, and just yeah. same thing. This paint is kind of thick, so, okay. you, you know, don't be afraid to hit the water. Okay. But, you know, you, you see what I'm saying? Absolutely. It's a little kind of thick and you get like mud. 
Oh, yeah, I see that. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's indeed, it's indeed. Okay, so. Yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> Wet and yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it is real, real yeah. wet. Oh yeah, wet, <laughs> wet, yeah, a wet, yeah. wet paint. Yeah, a lot of wet, wet paint. paint going on here. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah, we yeah. doing. But watch what. See, here's the deal. I do it like this because when I first got the idea, and I always tell the story, or, or you know, yeah. something close to it, anything. But anyway, when yeah. I got the idea to make Thundercat. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, I wanted these to be so perfect. I just wanted, you know, I just wanted to put paint on a figure. I wanted to get in there, man. After I switched up the body parts, or whatever, make it look like whatever. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, paint. I took them apart like this, and I let them dry. Actually, each part, like for at least a day. Oh, okay. They were sitting up on the top shelf while I was actually, it was actually my headboard. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long, flat surface, and I wow. set them up there on this um, this rack, and they all had their own, you know, special place where they stood. Each yeah. body part had a rack or a stencil, you know, where it can stick underneath the holes of the feet, and you know, yeah. got a thorough dry on there, man. I put them suckers together when, I mean, when they all dried up, mm -hmm. it was like just assembling a figure. Oh, wow. It felt so good because I didn't have to look out and how I handled it. It was dry. Mm -hmm. It was it was good. Right. So, you know, I clicked it back on. Click, click. I was like, yeah. Thundy Cat. <laughs> I mean, instant custom. Awesome. Right there. All for fulfillment. Yeah. Like Jolly's. I love this. It's fun. Yeah. I don't and know. I'll oh, go ahead. And you've always like um, I say um, how many different um varieties of colors you've messed with so far? Colors. On these, um, yeah. On which one? Thundercats. The how many oh, different man, colors? Oh man, I, I managed to like capture every color because you know I got new ones. Oh. That okay. was never out, you know, in the series, the original, whatever. So I just got yeah. crazy with it and started creating stuff. So I was. Oh, uh, we like, are good. Leopards. We are outstanding here. <laughs> You're getting this done here. Hopefully, you can't wait to see what this action figure is going to look like when we're finished touching it up and painting up new body parts here. <laughs> <laughs> body parts. <laughs> Remember that movie? Uh, you think I, think I heard of it? I'm just like, um, you know, I've never seen it. <laughs> Age, man. Oh, okay. Age, man. I think was that about crazy doctors Age, or something? <laughs> yeah, body oh, parts. Uh, yeah. The 80s was nice. Uh, like they say, they roughly remake. about 90s. Okay. Okay, cool. So what I'm doing right here is I got the leg finished. And I'm awesome. We're going to do the slight bend a little bit. You know what? Well, I may joint. need a... Um, oh, you said what you Yeah, just tap it like this. It's yeah. Like, follow the lead or follow the lead and you do twist. Twist. <laughs> now, what I normally would do is have an, uh, some type of napkin or some kind of cloth so it can officially dry. You just like really a few strokes of this like this. You'd be good, but paper yeah. is good. As you awesome. see. As you see. Mm -hmm. So there. I'm going to cover up the part that I just touched. I'm going to get down in the cracks a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, man. Get it done. <laughs> so listen. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, trying, to, yeah, trying to get this stuff around here. Not like how I say, keeping it, keep it from be getting like not too watered down, like you said. Like, man. Oh, no. Kind of balances out real yeah, quick. You will find yourself like what I'm doing now. Yeah. Painting over it over and over. Which yeah. causes the paint to be really thick once it dries. Might not to mention it takes forever to dry. Right. So okay. just something to be aware of. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, you know. Mm -hmm. We want it to look good. We want yeah, it to be definitely trying to get that right, yeah, that yeah. right touch. So there we go. <laughs> so we got his leg here. I'm gonna mm -hmm. lean his leg up. Oh, okay. Against this white paint here. Right. And uh, it might so much as even. I'll hold up. There you go. Hey, right at the joint. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Awesome. So I think with the tail not moving around so much. So you got that one. Yeah. So once you do that, you see. He's digging in the leg, man. <laughs> He's like a drumstick. <laughs> you got to smooth him out. So you have enough paint there, actually. Really? Oh, so actually okay. To start stroking the whole leg, it'll cover. Oh, it'll, it'll, it'll okay. Pan out. Oh, okay. Now I get it. See? Okay. Yeah. yeah. You hit it off. Okay. Yeah, like, see that big chunk of that paint? Yeah. Oh, God. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Spread it out. Oh. Spread the love. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, now, yes. now I see how that works. Yes. Awesome. Put it out there. 
Now I'm looking at his white shirt and it kind of looks like he's got some green seeping through. So mm -hmm. it already looks like it's a thick coat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But may actually need another coat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Looking at this, it's kind of like. Yeah. Ah, I think I can be a little better about his torso. Yeah. Because once you actually finish that leg, mm -hmm. um, which looks like it's going to take a minute to dry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and uh, let him rest a little bit. I'm gonna come back to this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come back to this, and then uh, hopefully those are dry enough where we can pick them up mm -hmm. by the leg and, and actually cover a boot. Yeah, okay. Darker brown. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Now, yeah. But like every time, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it almost almost seems like um, yeah, the way it has to be spread it out. It seems like it always just kind of ends up opening up another spot for us. I'm like, okay, God, like you said, it's nothing to go over certain parts. Yeah. Of the like, just take this. Don't like like that type of brush. Yeah. Take it like this. Hold it. Mm -hmm. You want to use it. You want to strut it. Okay. You want to take the brush like literally like hit it with brush like long ways. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm like, you know what it is? I'm like, man, my heavy-handedness is just, Heavy-handedness? You're heavy-handedness. Got nothing to do with it. Look, struggle like this. See, here's my leg. Take it out. Okay. Take your brush and go like this. No, like that. Like that. Okay. In that motion, because you cover it better. Yeah, okay. And like, like, push down the brushes because you're thick. It's so thick. You see how thick it is? Man, you know what? And look at mine. Okay, let me show you. Oh wow! See how it's just it's smooth. Yeah, and it's like it's just evened out. Oh wow! You want yours to be like that? You got yours like a I man. I'm tempted to bite that mug. It's like a Hershey bar or something. <laughs> oh man! I'd have made this thing to a Suck chocolate it. bar. Oh my god! Man! Wow! Okay. Yeah, it's all good. So. Wow. Yeah, thin it out. Okay. Awesome. Hang out. Oh, you know what I can do? And <laughs> make mm -hmm. his hanky. I can yeah. color his hanky. His hanky's not gonna stay red. I, uh -huh. I don't know. It could, right? Okay. Uh, mm, yeah. nah. It might, might be some more. Put some designs or something in it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking. Let's see. Dark pants, dark tail. I put his hand to the darker brown. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see. Uh, What's that? Okay, I did kind of hit the boot a little bit. That's alright. Uh, I'm just gonna cover it anyway with the other paint. Yeah, okay. You see? Uh, the Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, very nice. Very yeah. nice. Oh, uh, nice response. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's cool. But we're gonna bend him with the joints. He's good. Oh, uh, good. You know, the W, but see how, see how you have that, like, that space missing right there? Just that oh, little part? Yeah. But for the most part, covered. But see, you have enough paint on here where you can easily do something like this. Oh, okay. See there? Yeah. And that's, that's the cool thing about that. Wow. Nice. So awesome. Yeah. <laughs> my first, my first leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't like chicken, boy, you just your first leg. No scam. <laughs> chicken leg. Listen, mm. we're going to jump this dude right here because he can dry oh see look what i just did mm -hmm. with the brush mm -hmm. dummy me yeah and dry right there so <laughs> okay so we're gonna put oh wow here i am telling you mm -hmm. i'm messing it up anyways Sorry, dog. I just had a message to work. Yeah, I'll get it. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. <laughs> so this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're gonna do this here. I'm gonna lean him up against. Ah. Kind of like a figure in itself. You got uh, a bottle of paint, with two legs. Oh wow. All right. So now, as a promise. <laughs> Yeah. I'll leave his hat there just like it is. And I'm going to take. And as far as his shawl, that's oh, going yeah. to stay the same. Definitely mint potion. We are having a great time right now. <laughs> that we are. Yes, ma'am. Understand oh. that. <laughs> yes. 
and look he here yeah, so right. I'm gonna do this so what's gonna be the next we're gonna yeah. change up the uh oh yeah he's just gonna have a darker color on this I'm just gonna alright awesome you know what I mean and being is, 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 it's just some more more than enough paint so yeah I'm gonna actually oh, okay. cover as much as I can bam Good bam bam hit the cracks hit the cracks mm. you know still, I got a lot of it on there so I can spread this a little bit oh okay yeah Oh yeah, stretching, stretching. Oh, I need more. Yep, Just hope you quick. guys get some ideas <laughs> on how to oh, yeah. remake toys and reanimate them. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Sure Nothing but paint brushes and a this. couple of paints. You hey, man, don't tell them the secrets, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is my yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys didn't know I was using paint all this time. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's all good, mm. man. These, these are some. Um, yeah, and so custom, this man. is this what you turn it into again? The what you turn this okay. this action figure into? You said he's a, he's a, he's an elite warrior. Awesome. From elite force. Nice, Mister Mister Gun. <laughs> Mister Gun, getting his western on. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's who that is. Now, see, I can't even really hold them on mm, this. Mm. I'm getting in the back. Oh, it's okay. like this. It's kind of like, yeah, you got a brown, yeah, brown hanky. Wow. going to kind of just glow his wardrobe, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Go left or red. Probably should have left it red. No, oh, okay. Hey, you know what? Uh, Worth a shot. You know, try it. Yep, we'll see what it looks styles. like. Yeah. If it don't look good, we'll paint it back. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it's the best part. <laughs> we'll paint it back. Yeah, you can always switch back. We got plenty of paint. Uh, that's something we ain't gonna run out of. Mm -mm. Y'all, always good. Okay, cool. So I'm doing this. Oh yeah, you know I'm gonna try to hold the tip. Mm -hmm. I want to get the back. I want to try to cover it. Oh, In some man. cases, if I'm holding something small like this, mm -hmm. I can get uh, I can get away with holding it all over, uh, and you know, and getting the paint job done. Yeah, yeah. Um. Want this to definitely be dry because you don't want to put it on him and <laughs> paint get on his clothes when it maneuvers and moves around. Uh, yeah. It's like, oh man, mm. you got uh, got some other colors. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. So we are done with this for the most part. Awesome. Um, and it's always easier when you just paint piece for piece. Mm -hmm. If you can assemble the figure, take it apart. It's always better than actually trying to paint the whole figure in its entirety because it's harder to get on cracks. You know, sometimes paint gets on certain places you don't want, the, you know, if for that color. It'll cross over, you'll actually slip the brush. It happens no matter how steady you can get. Sometimes it'll just slip and you, uh, you know, you get a little black speck on something that you just wanted to be white or blue or something, you know. And it's easier to just take it apart. Paint them apart. <laughs> and when they're all dried up, put it together. Awesome. Yeah. And so how long so, yeah. to see? So are most of those about yeah. almost dry now or are they still? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. that um, see this right here. I'm kind of concerned about the vest. Yeah. Because, I mean, the, uh, the torso area. Yeah. Only because it's it's kind of thick. And uh, I got to, I have to add another coat. Oh, so okay. Color I see that. Okay. On top of that. So yeah. I'm gonna leave that right there on its tips for the most part. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And um, let that dry. All okay, right. so what we got left is uh, pretty much that's it because his shawl is staying the same. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that and his hat. Everything's gonna stay the same. Yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do now? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> did I forget? Did you hear the bubbles? <laughs> uh -oh. This guy was down here drowning. You remember his uh -oh. utility belt? Um, yeah. Yeah, that I put the paint on oh, by accident that's at first. Right. Yeah. It's down here, and I need to paint Whoops. it. But I can't get it. <laughs> I can't get it. Hold on. Yeah. Maybe I can do it with two brushes. Is it still in here? Yes, it is. Eh, if I reach down here, it's going to be messy. Let me see. Let me see. Did I? Where is this belt? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Where is this dude's sure belt? enough had it in there. It's in here. It's in here. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, absolutely. There okay. you go. Thus having to have done the job, <laughs> it's clean now. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do here, this gun is going to be black. Mm. And speaking of gun, let me go ahead and jump into who this guy is and what he does. 
This guy basically has the ability to walk around with this gun in the holster. No. That's if he's pulling it out to shoot you with it. He can mm -hmm. easily do that. Awesome. He's vanquished many of his enemies that way. But mm -hmm. that's not it. Once he touches the gun, mm -hmm. he becomes the gun. Oh. So he can do a fake move and take his hand off of it just as easily and point mm -hmm. at you and you're dead. Wow. But thus he actually takes that gun power, he actually takes the virtue from it. When uh. he shoots from it, it's actually like a a blastering, a, uh, um, a, um, an explosive, you know, like a shot. Yeah. It's like a laser type bullet. Oh, okay. Once he touches it with his hand, he's just pure energy. He can just shoot it with the, um, with the laser. Oh. The same blast. Right. It just comes off. And then the thing is, if he just slaps his hand so much as that way, he doesn't have to rub and have to meditate or nothing like that. Yeah. He does something that's just that quick. Oh, his wow. other hand is a gun as well. Oh, okay. And this is not just a pea shooter, so it lasts for a while. Oh. But many, gotcha. many rounds that he actually has in the gun. Now, he can do this over and over again. Once he actually fires the rounds out of here, though, he has to reload. Mm, okay. So, yeah, that's that's wow. his, uh, his ability. Wow. Awesome. I guess that would make him kind of like a mutant. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah. He's just, uh, uh, hey, he's just a guy that can do that. Yeah. How about that? Magical powers. It's all good. <laughs> the gun, man. Awesome. So this is what I'm going to do. I want to get this done. So all this pretty much is going to be brown. Brown oh. gear, brown holster. Okay. So I'm going to cover it in darker brown. Mm. Giving those things time to, to dry. Um, awesome. And uh, just like oh, yeah. cover it up, man. His uh, belt okay. buckle. I'm contemplating if, I, if it's going to look better with the with the um, with the gold. It uh, indicates like kind of like a source of power. Oh. And actually cover it out, deck it out with some silver, mm -hmm. like a silver belt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Marshals some stuff. Mm -hmm. You have it, yeah. have it going on, man. Yeah. And as you can see, if you can see, the belt has mm -hmm. an X in front of it. But it was Bishop's oh, yeah. belt. So I'm yeah. gonna take that X away, man. So oh. I don't be able to say nothing, man. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Here we go. In this way. In this way. And as you can see, because it's so small of a piece, mm -hmm. I can cover multitudes of it with just the little paint that I have on the brush already oh, absolutely. and I just you know because no matter how thick it gets I'm just going to slap it around until it evens out smooths out whatever oh, so you okay. know I need a little water but I got to dab it and then I got to get in here because this paint's getting too thick as you see it Man. it's starting to clot a little bit oh okay so you're going to wet it a little bit mm -hmm. and that's when it's okay to just dab that brush you know just dab it oh okay you just control it you know you just you dry as much as you need yeah you know I want to try to stay away from the thinner part of the paint is drying up i don't want to add and apply yeah real real paint handler you know I mean? for a sec <laughs> yeah because it's just gonna oh absolutely for details it just yeah. and see kind of like see how the paint can get real thick around the gears the buttons and stuff of his uh his uh cases and stuff on his belt oh absolutely i want to kind of thin that out so you can really indicate the detail oh on absolutely. the buttons you know yeah the buttons actually have to kind of show that he has gear on his belt yeah. Are you still gonna cover up the X? I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, okay. yeah, I'm gonna cover the X up with silver. Oh, okay. Oh, silver belt, okay. Yeah. Wow. Now I just said that, man. I was playing. <laughs> 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 we gotta keep the people laughing. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully somebody's smiling. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, but uh, yeah, man. Everybody's yeah. big on this new Star Wars track. Yeah. This trailer, man. I just, mm. man. I'm gonna definitely go see it. I have. Star Wars oh. Junkie. Oh. But the deal? Yeah. I'm not liking what I heard. Well, <laughs> I won't ruin any surprises because I still don't know officially. Yeah. Man, I'm just hearing rumors. <laughs> Man, it's just not cool. <laughs> you can't, uh. But you know. Yeah, yeah. You anything like me, you're gonna go see it anyway. I won't say too much. No. I won't say I too much because I don't know much, honestly. Yeah. Know what you mean. I will say this. Mm -hmm. I hope the much that I heard, though, is not true. <laughs> uh, not true. Mm -hmm. That's basically coming from a guy who has a certain expectancy and certain storylines because you always want things to be a certain way, you know. No, absolutely. I'm sure I'm not the only one. You know, like, I'm going to be honest, man. When Han died in The Force Unleashed, mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. I was just like, I'm not Han Solo, man. Wow. Han Solo, man. 
I'm so, oh, okay. Kill, did you see the movie, man? No, nah, man. Man, you see the movie, man. <laughs> man, I'm uh, speaking a foreign language to you right now, man. Might as well be, might as well be talking <laughs> about Star Trek. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, good. No, real talk. Mm-hmm. Star Trek's bomb, too. Don't get it twisted. Mm-hmm. No hating on the Star Trek, man. Genius. It's all good. Much respect. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm almost done. Oh, this wow. looks so boring. I wish you guys could see it from my angles and my views. It's wow. uh, it's so much effort being made. It's um, I'm gonna oh, leave man. the inside of the holster though still yellow, because once his gun is in there, it's you know it's gonna cover that of course. But then, um, I don't want it to be like unless it thoroughly dries off. Mm-hmm. Brown paint running it off against black. Yeah. So it's just uh. Got to mm-hmm. be a little careful on it. Yeah. But anyway, for the most part, we're done. That's oh, just okay. the part that I'm handling. And I don't, um, it's gonna dry. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna leave it sitting here anyway. Yeah. Like this. Awesome. Right, I actually should hang it on something. If I could. Mm. Because it'll be just a little. But I don't know how to do that. Mm-hmm. If I could sit it like. Whatever. Oh shit. Not knocking. It's cool actually. Not bad. Yeah. Oh no. Not really damaging it. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. I want this to come out nice and I just wanna get that thickness off of there, man. This one thing about the darker colors and the um the texture pretty much of the paint. Oh yeah. It's just really thick. Can't really blame it on a darker color because I could just as well put blue, mm. or you know, I mean, it's, it's, mm. this this acrylic here. Yeah. The, the white paint is still kind of it's kind of thick. Yeah. I know I needed to actually have it dry. Uh-huh. I kind of want to paint his gun, yeah. but I'm um yeah I'm gonna paint his gun. <laughs> <laughs> and because yeah. it's black and actually um small piece, I can get. It. <laughs> I should just dip it in black paint and just maneuver the paint around it. Yeah. It, it could be done. <laughs> that paint went. I see how watery oh, wow. that is. Yeah. See, I didn't dip that wow. No, look at that. Wow. Looky, looky. I messed up. <laughs> see? There it is, but that's what it is. And that needed to happen. Mm. Now it's still a little wet, but I'm going to add a little. See that that black paint right there is getting to dry out. It's been sitting there. Oh. So it's kind of thick already. Yeah. It's thicker than what it was. Mm, I okay. laid it out. So, that water just made a little difference. Mm-hmm. Now, again, I want to indicate gears if, as much as possible mm. on the gun. Because that means, look at our detail. Oh, you know what I mean? Prior to its paint. It always makes you want to leave it the color that it is because the paint only fills in yeah. a little bit of the uh, cuts and grooves and stuff indicating the gears of the gun. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, absolutely. You want it to be black but or whatever color you're going to make it. Mm-hmm. And uh, still have that showing. Uh, so I'm gonna go kind of thin. I'm not gonna let it uh, thicken up on me. I've paid, probably not, you know, stroke it for a few times. Yeah. But we're good. Most part, you can see it if you can. It's kind of small. <laughs> can you see that? <laughs> you see that? <laughs> so, <laughs> so here we are, and um, now we got the handle. And, you know, pick it up a little bit, hold it, and I put get paint on my hand, of course. And yeah. Should make the handle brown, but then it won't look. I don't know if I detail it right. Yeah. See, look at that. Okay, now I messed up the gun, man. Yeah. I messed up the gun. <laughs> I messed up the figure because he's the gun. Right. Okay, so we all up under here. Uh-huh. Did I get this part? can't see it, but I'm painting it, so hopefully. Yeah. Oh, here it goes. Oh, I messed up. See, I, I missed the handle right there. I want to get it all, man. Oh, there it is. Got it. Mm-hmm. So, the glue gun took me all that time. Mm-hmm. Wow. Don't be ashamed of myself, man. <laughs> can't believe that. Yeah. So now, being that we want to actually take this guy and uh, take his white tee, mm-hmm. put put my vest on. Oh. You're gonna wanna um, 
a little more control over the brush and the brushels, you know, as far as where it's going to go, because it's going to be such a dark color going over such a light color. Mm -hmm. You don't want it to bleed, you don't want it to, you know, so I want it to be kind of even. So I'm really going to take this. I'm going to tell you, I'll show you how to do this. Mm -hmm. I really take this and I spin this like out. Oh, okay. So it can be sharp. Yeah. And it's almost as if I'm getting ready to detail a face. I do this a lot when I'm getting ready to detail a paint a face and some eyes or something. Mm -hmm. I take one of my smaller brushes, but if I don't have, in the case of, I have my smallest brush, it's still kind of a bigger brush. Yeah. I could twist it like this and get it at that point. So I'm only going to do that good enough to actually start off the, the line as far as where the vest is going to go. Yeah. And uh, I figured it'd be better just to go ahead and start off with that because um, you know, like, you know, like, hmm. Mm -hmm, hmm. Let's see. Should it be a light color? Mm. Just thinking. That's a light color. Like this. Mm. Could be. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Hmm. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go it's right off the sleeve, actually. Mm. You know, I have to trust that this paint is dry enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna bleed on me or run with me as I'm painting this. Mm. And uh, I just want to get this. Yeah, I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna go ahead and make it like a vest. Oh, see? Wow. Okay. See that? Yeah. Now, I don't know if that was because I wasn't covering it up with enough brown paint. Mm. Or this this color here, or was the white still running with me? Mm. I think it's still running. No, it's kind of dry. Yeah. But again, mm. I normally wouldn't do this like this. Yeah. I'm just putting a little uh, rust job on it. And I have painted figures like this in the past. Yeah. Didn't really give them time to really rest on a color that I had put down prior. Yeah. I want I want this to be really um you know thick. I mean not thick, but you know I don't yeah. want the white to be. So I may have to wait just mm -hmm. a little longer. Yeah. But I think they're just about time. Me. Mm -hmm. Yo, Ben. Buddy, buddy, buddy. What's what my time like? What's my time like? <laughs> right. how, how long have I been on? 45. Ooh. Yeah. That's 15 longer than last time. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. We're about to close out. Yeah, actually, we're going to... This guy, as promised, we will pick up next week. And... Uh, oh, cool. Okay. So, you, yeah. So, yeah, this guy here, we're going to pick up on him next week. Because we just... Um, I need this actually to dry. And... Um, I'm actually going to do some things where um, we'll just pick up next week. I don't want to tell you. <laughs> so stay show up, tuned. Show up next week. You'll see what I do with my man. For the following episode. But you got to figure it out. It's going to be nice, though. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah. If we get done with that one in time enough, we'll move on to the next one. Mint Potion, if you're still there, thanks for watching. It's James Rome, Deep Sea. Holla. Yay, yay. God bless. Thank you. See you.